Hello my friends, uh, I want to share with you my experience with Microsoft Flight Simulator crashes to desktop. Uh, it may happen that after a relatively long period of perfect running, crashes may start to occur, all of a sudden with no apparent reason, even if you didn't do anything to your MSFS installation apart from maybe installing and using some new add-ons. Um, and this happened to me as well. I personally have found that upon following these basic three rules that I'm going to tell you right now, the CTDs did stop occurring pretty much consistently. I'm going to write down those simple rules in a text file just to make things clearer. So, straight to the target. First rule, set Windows HEX, which stands for Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, to OFF. Quickly, we go to the Windows Options, Gaming, game mode, graphic settings, and here it is, the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It says that it may reduce latency and improve performance. It may be true, but when I had this option enabled, I had many, many, many crashes, and specifically with Microsoft Flight Simulator. So. I decided to set this baby to the OFF position and I didn't find any particular loss in performances but crash to desktop have stopped occurring. So this is the first basic rule you can try. Second rule is to frequently clean the NVIDIA uh, DirectX cache and maybe there's a cache also for the AMD uh, graphic cards but this can be simply done uh, by going to your uh, users uh, users folder in the in the local disk uh, your username uh, application data go to local low NVIDIA per driver version DX cache and here just select everything delete them um, some files may be in use so you can uh, you can press cancel and the the files that can be deleted will be removed uh, with a huge benefit on stuttering and also in possible crashes to desktop. This is the second rule to follow. And very briefly, let's come to the last one. Last rule is to use, install and use a few scenery add-ons at a time. A single add-on may not have an effect uh, on crashes to desktop if you consider the single add-on. Maybe it is perfect, maybe it, it has got no problems, it gives no troubles at all to your MSFS installation, but the contemporary presence of multiple sceneries can have unexpected outcomes. Sceneries may work if uh, taken one at a time, but their coexistence may create problems. So the trick is to use, possibly, to use a few scenery add-ons at a time. How do I do it? Uh, simply using these free add-ons. You can go to flightsim.to uh, site and download the MSFS add-ons linker. It is a simple app which allows you to uh, very quickly select only 
the add-ons you are going to use uh, in your next uh, session of Flight Simulator. And very simply put, uh, this is the add-on linker. Uh, with this application you can keep your community folder empty or just with a few very basic or very or the add-ons that you need to keep constantly in the folder while you can keep all the other add-ons in other folders or position of your PC and then this application will gather when will create a symbolic link to your main community folder and those links can be uh, turned on and off just with a click of the mouse so you can activate and deactivate each add-ons just with a click of the mouse it is very straightforward very simple and it will allow you to use only your for example departure airport and destination airports and maybe some few other add-ons and this will keep your uh, loaded data very uh, light very low and this will prevent possible crashes to desktop which are more frequent when the memory is filled with data so this is very helpful in maintaining um, your system loading very low or at least to maintain data as much low as possible so if you recently ran into troubles uh, with the crashes to desktop in Microsoft Flight Simulator just try those basic and simple uh, rules and maybe give me a feedback about your experience and if you um, succeeded in fixing those CTDs uh, because I know they are very annoying when maybe you are on a three hours flight you are maybe close to destination and then all of a sudden you get a crash to desktop it's very very frustrating okay my friends thank you for following as usual I hope this video can be useful to you and see you to the next one bye bye